Hey guys, real one eleven T here. Uh, just wanted to show you some more fuel cans that I picked up. Uh, this time from Sportsman's Guide, they had kind of a deal on them, and um, a couple different models. And I'll I'll just go over first one real quick. Got this. This is a five liter NATO style. It says can, and um, I don't know. I really don't really recommend it. I mean, it hasn't leaked or anything on me, but uh, I could swear uh, at the illustration I saw some kind of NATO markings on it. Uh, but when it gets here, it's uh, essentially uh, made in China. I don't know if you can read that. It basically says made in China. Um, I don't know. I guess it doesn't suck that bad. The, uh, the nozzle is kind of on here, kind of cattywampus. doesn't look like it was damaged. Looks like that's just the way it came. Okay, and uh, yeah, the handle's not particularly uh, comfortable. Um, it's kind of tack welded, you know. But I mean, there's I don't think there's such a thing as a true uh, five liter uh, NATO can. So this is just kind of a NATO style type thing. Um, and I think this is like 17 bucks. So, I mean, I guess it's all right for the price, but, you know, had I seen it, I probably would have passed on it. I'll still use it. I was going to use it to store kerosene, uh, and I'll really double-check that it doesn't leak uh, with kerosene. Now, the other ones here, these are actual uh, new old stock NATO cans. Uh... See if I can find the logo. You know, it said on there. Um, it said may show signs of storage. So that's pretty much uh, what I'm noticing with this. Um, this is the same logo that my other ones have, uh, 2002 marked, and it's got some actual markings down here. The construction feels very similar to the other ones. The difference being it has a slightly different style. Oh. Oh. Slightly different style. Yep, here we go. It's, it's like the other uh, it's like the other uh, cap on the other ones, but it's actually centered on the, uh, on the weld, which is weird. The other ones, you know, kind of like this. They've got it on one side of the weld, but this one is a, a wider mouth. It's kind of cool. You can kind of see right down into it, uh, not in this lighting, but um, and the uh, the only thing I really don't care for. Well, there's a couple things. One, um, it's not compatible with my other nozzle, but my plan is to basically use a siphon, so that doesn't really matter that much. And then the other thing is that these ones, well, they've got a similar kind of a locking mechanism they don't have the uh, the pin which kind of sucks but um, the, as you could see there a second ago when I tried to open it it was it was kinda giving me a little hard time so that maybe is not that big a deal either but the the good thing was the price on these um, I needed to get two more in order to have three for each vehicle um, so uh, they were I think 36 or 37 dollars a piece which is far cheaper than the fifty dollars that old Grouch has the uh, the the new new ones for. So and they're about the same quality basically. So uh, I picked up a couple cans of Krylon, and uh, I'm gonna wash these off. They do have kind of dust and stuff on them, and I'm gonna wash them off and then dry them off and uh, and then paint them mostly red. Um, so that I will not get hassled when I go to the gas station and want to fill them up. So, yep, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, Sportsman's Guide has them. Um, they do have, be careful which one you order, though, because they have some some USGI-style ones, which are the ones with the, you know, the cheaper ones uh, that have the, the weld that sticks off and they don't stand up straight. They got those ones, and then if you look for the NATO new unissued uh, 
uh, cans. That's what these are. They're a little bit more expensive, like I said. I think those other ones are like $17 or, $8 or $19, something like that. So, like I've said before with these things, if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Um, but, uh, yeah, so some little disappointing things. But all in all, I mean, they're in good shape. There's absolutely no uh, hint of any sort of residue inside them. So they're definitely new, old stock, basically. Um, show little signs of wear, just like advertised. A uh, little bit of brassing in the paint, you know, worn off. But like I said, I'm going to hit that up with some Krylon. And it won't ever have uh, an opportunity to get bad. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching.